Why do we build these massive towers that seem to touch the clouds? Well, it's not just about needing office space. It's a global competition, a race to the top, and it's been going on for over a century. Welcome to the Skyscraper Wars. For a long time, the United States, especially cities like New York and Chicago, dominated the skyline. Think the Empire State Building or the Sears Tower. They were symbols of economic power and engineering genius. But in recent decades, the race has shifted dramatically to the east. Let's talk about China. In the last 20 years, China has built more skyscrapers than any other country in history. Cities like Shanghai and Shenzhen transformed their skylines almost overnight. The Shanghai Tower, with its unique twisting design, isn't just a building. It's a statement. This boom was fueled by rapid economic growth and a desire to show the world that China had arrived on the global stage. It's a way of saying, look at us now. But the real heavyweight champion of height is the Middle East. Enter Dubai and the undisputed king of skyscrapers, the Burj Khalifa. Standing at a staggering 828 meters, it redefined what we thought was possible. It's a marvel of modern engineering designed to withstand extreme desert temperatures and high winds. But why build something so colossal in the middle of the desert? It's all about ambition. Dubai wanted to transform its economy from oil dependent to a global hub for tourism and finance. And what better way to get the world as attention than by building the tallest structure ever made by humans. But the story doesn't end there. The race is about to get even more intense. Just next door, Saudi Arabia is building the Jeddah Tower, which is designed to be the first building to break the one kilometer mark. That's 1,000 meters high. This isn't just a friendly rivalry. It's a battle for prestige, for tourism dollars, and for the title of the world's most ambitious nation. So this global race is driven by national pride, economic strategy, and the timeless human desire to push boundaries. These buildings are more than just steel and glass. They are symbols of a nation's aspirations, carved into the sky itself. Who do you think will win the next leg of the race? Thanks for watching. If you found this fascinating, make sure to hit that like button.